Welcome back everybody. Today uh, we're going to be exploring this like abandoned railroad kind of. So right now I can't really film this because I want to focus on crossing this uh, bridge. Because I have to focus crossing this bridge. So I'll get to you guys when we get to the other side. Okay, I just got to the other side. So now I'm able to film. Uh, so pretty much I'll give a small backstory while I'm walking over. Uh, let me fix the camera. Um, it should be focused. I can't see because I'm filming on a phone. But pretty much the backstory was, is I'm pretty sure this used, but this was long, long time ago. Like we're talking 18, 17, 1900s, somewhere in between that time span where this railroad would lead to, it was like this soldier base or it was some kind of base for uh, veterans or soldiers. I don't really know what it was for. I've just, I kind of Googled it before I filmed this and it actually has an interesting backstory. So we're pretty much in the area. It's going to be kind of loud because I'm currently like kind of under a road, but uh, here. But yeah, this is pretty much what we're going to be exploring today. Uh, it goes pretty far. It goes further back. But yeah, there's a lot of trash. Like this bike tire. Literally just sitting here. But yeah, this used to be an old railroad like long, long time ago. I'll show once I leave, I'll show the uh there's still like a the wooden pieces for a railroad. I forget what they're called. But yeah, this is beautiful. By the way, I am not trespassing. Uh m there's people here all the time, but it's a colder day, so there's not a lot of people. But like as you can see, this is really flat and rocky which i'm pretty sure some of the rocks are probably from this and yeah there's a lot of spray paint which please don't don't graffiti like this icicles they go like all the way up i just can imagine what this looks like uh what's the word in the in the snow i guess i just can't imagine what it looks like in the snow this is insane i mean i've been back here before but it's just so cool I'm trying to keep the camera as stable as i can but it's kind of a bumpy walk so i'm trying to get good camera and film at the same time um but yeah a little more history i guess um this is in Maryland. I'm not going to give any location. You can find it yourself if you're desperate to. It's in Conway. That was so cool. I didn't get it on camera, but an icicle just fell. Like, small one. Kind of, like, probably about the size of my hand. But, uh, pretty much more history is this is in Conowingo, Maryland. And, um... It was just pretty much, I think, used as a trainway back in the 17, 1800s. Or like, yeah, there's the road. As like, um, I guess the best way to describe it is like transferring soldiers and people to like a base and like their families for a place for them to live. It's so quiet and peaceful. Yeah, this, okay, up here is a little, it gets really dirty up here, sadly, because people just throw stuff off the bridge, and it lands down here. But yeah, I'm going to have to be a little careful, because there was like a bed sheet here, and bed, couch, just thrown here. But yeah, there's the lake I was talking about, or creek, pond. I don't even know. It probably leads to Conowingo Dam somehow. But yes, I guess someone lost their uh, car. Looks like a uh, back seat to a truck. And someone's old mailbox. Oh my gosh, that is creepy. Let's all get out. This is so cool. I don't know. It's not that interesting. I mean, saying it's abandoned is a little, little clickbait. 
but it it kind of is because it used to be an old railroad a long long time ago and now it's just a place for trash that's the i guess creek pond yeah there's like a whole trash can like all these tires Just sad to see all the litter. Yeah, more icicles. Yeah, I, I can't go farther because of water. And it's kind of like 20 degrees right now. I'm freaking freezing. But you know, I saw a good video opportunity, so I'm obviously going to take it. But yeah, like the way this was carved out is just beautiful. There's not much like it. Because, like, if you're ever on a train, like, yeah, there's more. Like, look at all the tires. Those things popping up right in that, like, area. They're all tires. But, like, um, oh, I forgot what I was saying, of course. But, um, yep, another car. There's so many cars that just pass by. But yeah, this next time, or yeah, that's what I was going to say. Next time you're on a train and you go through like rocks like this, look, because it'll be pretty much, it won't be a lot of graffiti, but there will probably be a lot of like, you can see where it's carved and but yeah. If you want to look at, hold up, there's a tire. I don't want to fall through there. Um, If you guys want to look at this, just search up, I guess, um, Man, I forget what it's called on YouTube. Just search up, like, a soldier base, I guess. Soldier base in Conowingo... Hold on. In Conowingo, Maryland. And you should... Hold up, let me, uh... Let me get up. Okay. Search up soldier base in Conowingo, Maryland, and you should probably see it. Rising Sun, Conowingo, uh... Probably one of those two, you should probably get it, but uh, yeah, and you'll see where this train would have led you to back in like the 17, 18, 1800s. But yeah, if any of you guys know history about this, go ahead and put it in the comments because uh, I'd be glad to learn more about this. Hold up, there's some like deep spots covered in leaves. This is so beautiful. Another car. I don't know why. I don't know why. Call me weird. I have a weird obsession with this stuff. But yeah. Okay. I'm going to walk back. Um, I'll show you guys the bridge that the train would have crossed. And then I'm, I'm going to end the video. I hope you guys actually like the thumbnail. If it if it turned out how it did in my mind. I, I haven't taken the thumbnail yet. But uh, if it turned out like it did in my mind, it should look pretty cool. Mm. At least to me, excuse me. But, uh, yeah. I just can't imagine what this would look like in the snow. This would be like a winter wonderland. I can't, I, no, I can't imagine what it would look like when it... It's this is all wet and water's dripping down and all the icicles are just looking insanely cool. Yeah, quick little video while I was spending time at my grandparents. I thought I would film this. Uh but yeah. One quick last look before I head back. Sorry if it's a little shaky. I'm using my hands and not a tripod. Okay, I'll set back. But yeah, like I said, there's tires everywhere. People just throw their tires here. Like this is like a, this is like a perfectly good motorcycle tire. And when I was here before, I found an old like destroyed uh, old Nintendo. I think I don't know what it was. It was like all destroyed, so I couldn't really tell. 
but I think it had a Nintendo logo. So it was one of these like older, older Nintendos. Yeah, almost uh, there. Like, I'll show you what I mean. Like, you can still see where the rails were, like where I'm standing. There's, it won't pick up on camera, but there's like an indent, like right there or where the rails would be. Kind of like a, how a drive, like a highway would be where the tires mostly are. But yeah, I can't really tell much because I got to cross that. And this is perfectly safe. Many people cross this. But yeah, just whatever these are called. Yeah, here's a quick view of the bridge. If we can get, uh, let's say if we can get 150 likes, I know that's asking a lot because I really don't want to do it. Uh, I will go like farther, maybe go through the creek if this can get 150 likes and see just how far it goes. But yeah, 150 likes, I'll do that. Make sure to like and subscribe. Uh, look for more of these videos. Make sure to like and see ya.